I'm, I'm just, I'm tired of getting all of this and not saying anything. Rachel Kirkconnell reveals she felt pressured not to speak out about the photo controversy. Hey guys, we are back with another Bachelor Nation update. Rachel Kirkconnell has spoken out about what was going on behind the scenes during the controversy of Matt James's season, and we have all the details, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So Rachel just stopped by the From Privilege to Progress podcast and she got extremely candid about the intense controversy surrounding the resurfaced photos of her attending an antebellum themed party. She shared that she felt pressure to stay silent as the world openly debated her character, explaining, I had a lot of people in my ear saying, you'll have your time, don't make it worse, you'll have your time to speak, we'll give you a platform, just wait it out. I felt pressure to just keep it all in, to wait, to stay silent. As Rachel's continued silence actually became a part of the controversy, she knew it was time to take matters into her own hands. She explained, I finally decided to put that statement out and then obviously that wasn't enough because it's not actually a conversation. Anyone could have written that statement, which a lot of people had thought. I didn't even have any sort of representation at that point. People were like, wow, her publicist did great with this. That's when I was like, it's not enough. Rachel explained that she and Matt behind the scenes had also reached their breaking point. She revealed that they broke up towards the end of February and that same week was when she decided to post a video on her page addressing it all. She explained, I was like, I have nothing left to lose at this point. So that's when I just decided to post an Instagram TV of me just speaking. I had to get my voice out there and put my face out there, adding that dress and the history of that formal was racist and I was completely ignorant to that and I needed to be held accountable for that. Rachel went on to make it clear that she understands not everyone is going to accept her apology. She said, I wanted to apologize and for some people that won't be enough and I completely understand that. People are more than entitled not to forgive me, but that was my rock bottom. I had lost everything. Today, Rachel and Matt have moved on from the controversy and are happily back together. Rachel shared she was able to learn from her mistakes and now wants to use her platform to make a difference. She said, I've learned so much and I try to tell myself, you do have this platform and you could make a difference. I have a platform to pave the way for people to find those resources. I have a platform to amplify those resources. So there you have it, you guys. That is everything Rachel had to say. We, of course, want to know your thoughts on what she revealed in this interview. So be sure to let us know down in the comments. And if you are not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you do. Make sure you ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I am your host, Fiona Zaring. You can check out my socials at Fiona Zaring. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.